and welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I am going to teach you how to play the chords and the sympathy parts, so all the accompaniment parts to Do They Know It's Christmas, which is the Band-Aid song from 1984. So if you're interested in the full chords and lyrics I've left those down below. I'll try and sing each section as well just as a reference point but it's pretty repetitive. There's, we don't need any of the black keys it's in the key of C major. So on the screen are all the notes of the scale of C major. So the chords are formed using those white notes. So here is middle C, there's a reference point. So if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, the lowest note I'll be playing is a C and the highest note I'll be playing is this C. So this should be suitable if you have a slightly shorter piano. We'll go through the intro first, it's very straightforward. If you can't stretch octaves, there's going to be some octave stretches, mainly in the left hand in this one, you'll just have to adapt and you're not going to, I'm not going to be playing any octaves at the same time except for this here. So you're going to play octave C's if you can, but if you can't just play the highest C. So we have the left hand is going to play a low C and then the left hand is going to play C and then G and it does that again, C, C, G, all whilst holding that down. And then you do that a second time, all together, C, G, C, C, G. And that's the intro. So these are like the bells. And then it's into the verse. So the first chord of the verse, we have an F major first inversion chord. So A, C and F. And in the left hand, we're going to play, we're going to carry on that pattern in the left hand that we were doing in the intro. So you're going to play the F all together. Then we have F, C. And keep that held down. And your left hand comes up to G, G, D. And then we have that C again, C, E, G, two bars, back to the F, and then you're going to move that shape up to G major first inversion, so B, D and G, and then the C major for two bars, back to the F, G, the C, and then back to the F, and now we have a D minor 7, so all you're going to do from there is just add that D in with that chord and move your left hand to D, D, A, to the G, Part. So I'll just sing that now from the beginning. bit the chords are on the screen there's no new chords except for this sus chord at the end so you can carry on playing it in this way if you want to with this sort of left hand going on or you can start to play the chords in a bit more of a loose broken up fashion So all I'm 
doing there is I'm sort of going sort of playing the chords um, and then breaking up the left hand and I play occasionally playing the chords like this so like something like that too exact it's just a way to help amp it up a bit drive it forward so you can have a play around so again I'll just give you another example timing but just you know playing around with the notes that are already under my fingers having fun with different rhythms and things like that so you can experiment with your own I'm not going to be really exact and precise about it so the chords are on the screen again no new chords so I'll just continue I just added in a C sus4, so just changing the E to an F into the chorus. So again, no new chords, they're all on the screen. So there, so I'm playing up here, I'll just show you the right hand first, so I'm playing C and E and then F, G, C and then we're going to play an F major chord, so C, F, A and then G, F and then a C major chord and then a C. So do that again. And the left hand with that, you can just play in octaves or in fifths, or you can play both. And then we're gonna come up to F in the left hand, or, or F, C, F. And then we have E and C in the left hand, so it's a C over E, so you can just play E and C if you want, or add the E on top. I'll do that again. Or you can break it up a little bit like this. a few odd notes that are under my fingers and then we have this Here's to you, raise a glass for everyone. so we've got a minor different chord now so I'm just playing I'm playing in fifths in my left hand so a and e then a c e in my right hand and then it that shape moves down one to g major and you just go back and forth 
like that. So like this. Here's to If you wanted to add the melody in there, so you could go chord, E, chord, D, C, and then chord, and then E, chord, C, B. And then we have the so F major and then F over G so you're just changing the left hand to a G Christmas time at all. and then we go back to the synth bit but then the last the next bit added on to that we go back to that F major chord then play this C and then back to the C over E chord, C, and then you're just going to play an A, C and D, so a D7 chord, and then change to G, G, D, G in the left hand, or just hold it down. Again, it's up to you how you want to arrange this bit, I'm just giving you a few options, so I'll do that again. They start coming in with feed the world so then you do this instead so this first bit is the same but then we're going to carry on this chord so you're going to play a c f with d's in the left hand and then e and then change to g in the left hand So I'll do that again and then you do that until it fades out basically so you can just repeat the odd notes in there if you want to And then you literally just play that all the way until the end, until it fades out. It just carries on with that.
that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.